All right, what is up, guys? So, today's the day. 10,000 calorie challenge. Okay, so, I haven't had a cheat meal in five days, specifically for this. Guys, I'm so excited. I've never done a 10K challenge before, um, but there's gonna be a little twist to it is that I'm going to be supporting local businesses. So, um, the majority of the cheat day, it'll just be like from small businesses or local businesses. Uh, I'm not gonna go to like any chains. I'm not going to any fast food places like McDonald's and shit. Um, I'll have like little snacks in between meals, which might not be from like small businesses, but the whole video, the purpose of this is to support local businesses and support small businesses, especially during this pandemic, because they still need to keep, oh my God, it's bright. They still need, like, yeah, just, so the main, the main point of this video is go support your small businesses, go support your local businesses in your area during this pandemic, especially so that they can keep their businesses open and especially they can still keep putting food on the table for their family. But with that being said, we're going to go right now to our first stop for meal one and then bring it back home, which is going to be donuts. All right, guys, first stop was Dill Boys Donuts, local donut place here. Look at those. So these two are not for me. I got this coconut one and this chrome one for my mom, but then those four I will be having. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome to the video. And so like I said before, today is the 10,000 calorie challenge. So we have our first meal of the day, meal number one, which, like I said, we're going to be supporting small and local businesses today. So first off, we're going to be starting with Dough Boys Donuts. And guys, let me just show you these things. They are amazing. I got four donuts total. Let's see if I can show you guys. So yeah, I got four donuts total here. And then also, guys, I did make up two cups of egg whites so that I can still get my protein in for the day. So that right there is 50 grams of protein is two cups of egg whites. And then I have the donuts as well, but we're gonna start off with the donuts first. Hey guys, and then I always take my Evo Log. I always take this before any high carb or cheat meal, so I'll be taking one before each meal today. You can only take up to three a day, so. You can only take up to three a day, so I'm gonna figure out when I should take them, which right now, I definitely should because a lot of carbs. So, always take one with my cheat meals. And then guys, I'll show you too. Oh. Current time is 7.58. And let's get started. I'm so excited, I haven't had donuts in about eight months. So I'm very excited for this. And we're gonna start off with, this one is a raspberry filled. Cheers. Wow. That one was absolutely amazing. Like I said, we're gonna do two donuts first and then go to the egg whites and then back to the donuts. So, we're going to go now with an angel cream. And which this one, you guys, this one has like a, it's like a frosting in the middle. It's so good, I haven't had this in forever. So if you guys are ever in Reno, go to Doughboy's Donuts. They are amazing. Also, I'll be putting up a calorie uh, counter, probably up here in the corner. Probably. Now we will get our egg whites down.
next to you guys. I haven't had one of these things in forever. I'm gonna go with the apple fritter. This thing's amazing. Alright guys, the last and final donut. It's called the peanut butter log. Uh, I don't know if it's filled or not, so we'll see. This reminds me of those drumstick ice creams. There's no filling yet. I don't think it's filled you guys, but the peanut butter or the peanuts on top make it really, really good. That's meal one down. I'm probably gonna go for a little bit of a walk to let this digest, but whenever I have a snack or my next meal, I will see you guys then. All right guys, so before we go on this walk, we're gonna be having a Wookiee. And this, here, I'm trying to hold up. It's warm, so it's gonna fall apart, but uh, you guys can see this is the Blueberry Muffin Wookie from the April Pack. And guys, what Wookies are, I've talked about them before with my cheat meals. They are waffle cookies. And the link is in my description below. I do have a code with them. I have a 10% off code to save you guys some money when you do buy them because you guys need to try these. So what it is is it's a waffled bottom. So it's crunchy on the bottom and then it's a soft center like a cookie. So I'm very excited to try this one. We're going to eat this and then we're going to go on a walk. And this, so without toppers, it's 576 calories. With toppers, it's about 626. So we're just adding an extra 50 calories for the toppers. Um, so this will put us at right around 2,200 calories. Because we're at about 1,600 right now. So this will put us around, or not 22, or yeah, no. This will put us at 2,200 calories um, after we eat this. So we'll be about a fifth of the way done. So as you guys can see, Awful bottom. Cheers. Guys, that wiki was amazing. Like I said, that puts us at right around 2,200, almost 2,300 calories. And that's the thing too, guys. These are really easy to eat. And they're 626 calories each. So I think we can get to 10,000 today, like feeling pretty good. Cause I don't wanna like, I don't wanna stuff myself and feel sick. If I get to that point of the video, I don't think I'm gonna finish it. Cause I want to like enjoy today. I haven't done a cheat day since May of last year, so it's been almost a full year. Um, so I said, I wanna enjoy today. So if I start to feel sick at any point in the video, I'm just gonna stop. So, just a disclaimer for you guys. But, we ate that, we're gonna go on a walk, and then I'll see you guys for meal number two. All right guys, so I am in my room just because I have some family downstairs right now and they're watching the news and everything, but, uh, meal two, I'm a little, my stomach's a little full, but, it's okay, we're gonna get through this. Um, so, I went to a place called Walden's uh, Coffee House. It's a local place here, really good. Their coffee's really good too. Um, but we got their 
breakfast burrito. And current time is 10.22. And now their breakfast burrito, I'll show you guys real quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so there we go. You guys can see it has, you get a choice of meat and of course I chose chicken. So there is chicken, potatoes, eggs. I'll check it real quick for you guys. So yeah, as a breakfast burrito, it has potatoes, shredded cheese, salsa, eggs, and then choice of meat, which is chicken, and then it's a spinach tortilla wrap. And so, and it is grilled as well. And I'm ready to get down on this. And then as long as we're feeling good after, we're gonna be doing cookie from my cookie. All right guys, let's dig in. That's so good, but I can already feel it, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do this today. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Guys, it's a lot harder than it seems. I, I thought I was gonna do this easy. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get 10,000 calories easy. Guys, I really don't know now. At this point, I really do not know. I'm gonna finish this. Probably not gonna eat the cookie right now. Um, it's 10:30, so I'll say my next meal will be at like 12:31 ish. If I'm not feeling like super hungry and stuff. I'm just gonna make it like an enjoy myself cheat day and not a 10,000 calorie challenge. It's gonna be like an enjoy myself. In which, because if I'm starting to feel like this, I'm probably just gonna go back to my fucking meal prep food for the rest of the day and have some cookies here and there. But, guys, I don't know if I can do this. This shit's hard. left you guys I have to chill out for a bit I just don't know this is gonna happen so I'm gonna chill out for a bit all right guys so feel a little bit better right now I have my next meal in about half an hour but we are going to get down on this this is the, oh, come on, focus. This is the Apple Crisp, whoa, the Apple Crisp Wookie, which is also from the April Pack. Guys, the April Pack was a fruit pack, so it was blueberry muffin, apple crisp, lemon poppy seed, and then, so the fruit pack has blueberry muffin, apple crisp, lemon poppy seed, and then banana cream. I couldn't figure out the last one, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so, we're gonna have the apple crisp one right now, and I'll let you guys know how it is. Guys, this. Guys, oh my god.
so good. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see you guys when I have my meal number three. I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> oh, guys, it's my buddy Probjot. He's a. Uh, I've known that. Anyways, guys, yeah, I've known Prob since seventh grade. I've known him since we were like 13 years old. So I've known him for practically seven years. He's. He's my best friend. Um, so we got meal number three right here. Eight ounces of chicken with four ounces of broccoli. We're doing no carbs with this meal since we're having some cookies and wookies today. But, guys, I'm already. I'm already feeling better eating this stuff. Like I said, I like to enjoy myself on cheat days or cheat meals or treats or whatever. I don't like to like force it at all. So, that's why today we'll just be filled with like cookies and wookies, but we're gonna stick to our actual meal plan. We're just gonna cut carbs out of our meals. So, this is my pre-workout meal. So my post-workout meal is usually ground beef, sweet potato, and asparagus. We're just going to cut the sweet potato and have the ground beef and asparagus. Like I said, since we're eating cookies today. So I'm going to eat this and then go get ready to lift. So I'll see you guys when I have my post-workout meal. Alright guys, so we just finished up our workout. We had a post-workout meal, but I didn't record it because I knew you guys didn't want to see that. We had five and a half ounces of lean ground beef, two and a half ounces of chicken, and about ten asparagus beers. Feeling good. Hit back and arms. And now we're having Wookie number th which is oh that was close. Banana cream pie. So everyone has said this is the best one so far, so let's see how it tastes. So far. So far, I've liked the blueberry muffin the best and then the apple one second. So, let's see what it's about. Mm. I need to get into it more. Also, took one Evil Log with this meal. I always take Evil Log with my high carb or cheat meals. Link is down below. And there's my code as well, if you guys want to use it. 
Help save you money, and you guys support your boy, too. This is really good. It's definitely not my favorite from the pack, but it has a really good banana flavor, and it's not, like, too overpowering. That's really good. If you like bananas, this one is super good, which I do. But I'd say so far, blueberry muffin has been my favorite. Um, and then the apple crisp and the banana one are tied. Can't really pick between both of those. But yeah, it has a really good banana taste to it. Um, like I said, the blueberry muffin, that's still my favorite one so far. We'll see if the lemon poppy seed tops it. So this one was not my favorite from the pack, but it's still really good, you guys. Like I said, blueberry muffin and the apple one are definitely tied. Or, blueberry is first. The apple one and the banana are tied for second. Well, very good. This one was amazing. Guys. Wow, this is a lemon poppy seed one. Look at that. This one is so good. It has a lemon Wookiee dough in it. This one is my favorite by far. I wanted to show you guys calorie counter I'm at because like I said I was not hitting 10,000 a day. Um, we had four Wookiees total. We had the whole April pack. So let me recap on the April pack. I had the blueberry muffin first this morning, which was my favorite at first. And then I had the apple crisp and then the banana cream one and then finished off with the lemon poppy seed. The lemon poppy seed. The lemon poppy seed was by far my favorite one it was so good the lemon dough just cannot be like you just you can't with the lemon dough like you can't the lemon dough is so good the lemon wookie dough is amazing so that one was my favorite one from the fruit pack the april pack and then my second favorite was the blueberry muffin and then i'd say the third was the apple and then fourth was banana they were all good but those are just my favorites like listing them ranking them in a row um, and yeah, so, oh, that's what I was going to show you guys. Um, I'll put a little picture of it up on the screen, too, of the calories. But, so far for the day, I'm at, uh, I'm, sure. um, I hit, I'm at 5,444 calories for the day. Which, like I said, guys, I just turned it. So this went from a 10,000 calorie challenge into just an enjoy myself kind of cheat day because like I said, I didn't want to get sick and I didn't want to be fucking just laying around all day doing nothing. So there will be another 10,000 calorie challenge video in the future. I just need to work up to it. I need to do a day where I eat like 7,000 calories and then a day where I eat 9,000 and then I can go for the 10,000. But just hopping straight into 10,000 was kind of stupid because the most I've ever eaten in a day was 7,000 because I was really hungry. That's another extra 3,000 calories to 10,000. That's a lot. So I'm thinking of having like one last cookie with my nighttime protein shake, which the cookie's 800 calories. And then my shake's about 200. So that's an extra 1,000. So I'll end off around 6,400, which is 3,600 shy of the 10K challenge. But if I do eat one... I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, what is up guys? So, current time, 9.54. We're finishing our last meal of the day. We have our nighttime protein shake. And then guys, we do have a My Cookie Dealer Cookie, P3 
peanut butter jelly time. They're another small company. They're a local company in New York, but I order cookies from them as well. I order from them, and then of course, the Wookies because of the Waffle Queen. Um, those are the best things ever. And then these cookies are very good by my cookie dealer. Like I said, I'm doing them because they're another small slash local business. Even though they're not local here, they're local in New York. Um, but if I finish this one and I feel good, I'm going to do a second one because these are 800 calories each. So this meal right here will put me right around 6,200 calories for the day. So, oh guys, I'm so excited for this one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and also, of course, shameless plug. I always take my Eagle Log and my high carb cheat meals. This is my third and final one of the day. Because it says you shouldn't take more than three of these a day. Cheers. I one. We're only doing half of it right now because after this half, if I'm good, then I'm just going to call it an eye and go to bed. But if I'm still hungry, I'll have the other half. So, cheers. You guys can see it has a moon pie in the middle of it. Hence why it's called moon pie. Total calories up here in the corner on the screen I was just shy of 7,000 calories, or I hit right at 7,000 calories, so 3,000 calories short. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm sleepy, I'm gonna go to bed. So, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Please like the video because I felt sick as fuck this morning, did not feel good at all. Um, so yeah, like the video because I was in pain. Subscribe too if you haven't already. If you're watching my videos, why wouldn't you subscribe? And there's the hair on the mic. Uh, yeah, if you guys ever wanna see any more food challenges like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm willing to try them. Not going past 10,000 calories though. Fuck that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.